Hello, it is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday puzzle today, and I must say I'm very pleased about that. After yesterday's uh, debacle, uh, happy, happy to be solving what I assume to be a fairly approachable and quick crossword today. And this hopefully approachable and quick edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Skella Chicken, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to all four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. By directly contributing to this channel, uh, they are helping making this series a sustainable part of my daily work. They're helping make it, I should say. And so is everybody else who has contributed to the Patreon campaign. It is a new month, so thank you to everybody who um, has remained subscribed to the Patreon or is new to it. And uh, if you are either of those things, you can access all of the ba the bonus video solves that have gone up on the Patreon feed to date, including the most recent Boss Words competition solve, which um, was, my, I think, my my best solve this season, which was nice. And um, yes, thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel as well. I appreciate that. And don't forget, if you do subscribe to the Patreon channel, you get an extra... Um, an extra channel, or sorry, if you subscribe to the Patreon campaign, you get an extra channel in the Daily Self Discord chat server, but the rest of the Discord is free for anybody to join. So if you're interested in uh, participating in the Daily Self community, that's the best place to do it. All right, all that said, let's get on to this, as I say, hopefully approachable and quick crossword today. It's a Monday crossword, of course, constructed by Eric Agard, a recognizable New York Times constructor of dozens and dozens of New York Times puzzles, and it was edited as always, by Will Shorts. There will be some sort of theme. We'll have to see. We'll have to find what it is. Sound of a sneeze is a chew, I would think. And source of some wire stories. AP, so this, I assume this means a news wire service. So a, a news reporting service that um, uh, whose, whose reports can be licensed by other news providers. So AP News, maybe? AP is the Associated Press. Something a mutinying pirate might have to walk, might have to walk the plank. And vegetable with pentagonal cross-sections, okra, looks pentagonal in cross-section. Religious official could be a cleric. And capital of Cuba is Havana. So here's a, it's a, it's a Monday puzzle. So this is a straightforward clue. Often capital ends up being a bit of a sly misdirection and it's actually referring to money. But uh, in this case, it's just referring to the capital city. Not in a million billion years, never ever, and I think this is this is well clued because not in a million billion years is the kind of thing you could imagine a child saying maybe, and never ever has a similar sort of uh, childish insistence, I suppose. And it's always nice; it, it, they do tend to match the tone in that way. Dutch blank disease, Dutch elm disease. That's a, um, a, a, a sort of rot that affects trees, I believe. And boxing family surname would be Ali, most famously Muhammad Ali, of course, but also Layla Ali, his daughter. And worthy of coveting, enviable, enviable. Uh, skills of yesterday's crossword constructor were enviable, but not, not the decisions of those who entered it into the software. Op blank newspaper columns, op eds, um, which are opinion pieces in newspapers and Easter egg colorer is colorer would be dye, um, food coloring dye. December 31st, um, for short is NYE New Year's Eve and a neighbor of Montenegro, uh, would be Serbia, I would think. And Ave blank Maria, Ave Maria. Sorry, what did I say? Ave blank Maria, Ave blank a prayer is Ave Maria. And counterpart of length, breadth. There we go. Whatever you say, sure, sure. Oops. And once again, these sort of match the tone. Whatever you say, sure. You can imagine them being spoken in precisely the same manner for the same reason. Capital of organ. So oh, we have another capital. And of course, this does not refer to the currency of organ, but rather it's capital city of Salem in the United States. China's continent is Asia, and indigenous reclamation movement. Well, it'll be land something. 
actually not sure, but let's let's close these off first. Topic in a dictionary or on a utility bill. Well, it would be usage. You could have word usage or energy usage. Championship mementos. You could, you could obtain a ring for winning a championship. And a custardy dim sum, dim sum dessert. Is it an egg tart? I've had, I've had those little, little yellow tarts. Delicious. Uh, breathable fabrics could be meshes. And term of endearment. Here we have a modern term, bay. So what about this? Utah national movement called Shosh Ja in Navajo. Well, that's very interesting. But I'm not sure. Let's check the crosses. Sleep phase could be REM, rapid eye movement sleep. And once in a blue moon would be rarely. Rolls blank, Rolls Royce, the car make, car manufacturer. And Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course, is a dinosaur. Online game with a battle royale mode. Um, oh, Fort, Fortnite has that, I think. I think that is what Fortnite basically is. I've never actually played Fortnite, but I, but I think it's famously a sort of battle royale kind of thing. And small container for carrying a drink when away from home, a flask. Uh, nosh between meals could be a snack. And to become less, less harsh could be to ease up maybe. Does that work with this? This looks like an act. It does. Established legislatively would be to enact a law, for instance. Oh, indigenous reclamation movement. Land back, it looks like. That makes sense. And bear's ears. Utah national movement called Shash John Navajo. Interesting. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. But it is interesting we have these two uh, sort of indigenous related clues crossing one another. And becomes become less harsh. Oh, right. What did I say? Ease up? Let's see if that works. Loose collarless shirt popular in India. Uh, this is going to look familiar when I see it, but I'm not sure offhand. Stuff from a bog. You could have peat in a bog, a peat bog. And bogs referenced the other day in the puzzle, actually. Two days ago. To end a career is to retire, perhaps. And to get in, into a snarl. Tangle, I suppose. To boot. To boot. What is this? TNT? Sure. Yes. Palindromic explosion is TNT. And what about this? Like some fashion boots. Something high? Knee high or what high? Ankle high? I'm not sure. Yee-haw, I suppose. And sugary would be sweet. Oh, to boot would be at that. So the loose collarless shirt popular in India is a kurta. Okay, I don't know if I did know that, actually. I think I can picture it, though. And then sleep briefly might be to nap, to take a nap. Sounds nice. And some advanced degree holders could be PhDs, um, doctors of philosophy. And like some fashion boots. Oh, thigh high. There we go. All right. So I was on the right track. I just didn't <laughs> didn't get high enough. All right. To droop is to sag. And messages that may come with emojis would be texts on a phone. Debit initials on some snap cards. Um, that's for, uh, in the United States, that's um, a uh, uh, food food benefit. I'm not sure. What the what the initials are? Um, a black lady sketch show channel. Is it HBO? Starting with H. Female deer would be doe. Doe a deer. Female deer. <laughs> this looks like HBO to me. And by the power vested in me, a, uh, a marriage officiator might say. And be protective of as a mother hen might. <clears throat> Uh, something over. Watch over, perhaps? Let's check that. It might be something else other than watch, but over is certainly correct. You crack me up. I'm not sure. I'm just going to delete that for the time being. What about this? Have we seen this? Oh, if one's domain is one's realm, so that looks right. And to infuriate would be to anger or or what? What is this? Oh, beverage office often served in a cellar is wine, of course. Document digitizations are scans. Uh, Passover ritual would be a Seder. 
And infuriate is enrage. Okay. So soup scooper is a ladle, a big spoon. Oops. And if one rations something out, one allots it. Man's name that is an anagram of Elgin. Okay, well, we have uh, pretty much everything here. It must be Nigel. And partner of Prosper in a Vulcan saying. So this would be from Star Trek. Live long and prosper is what Mr. Spock said. And be protective. Oh, hover over perhaps? Be protective of? And opposite of I love it. Not for me, no. No, I'm not sure. You cracked me up, so it could be ha something. Feasted eight, and that works. So opposite of I love it starts with not, that makes sense, or no T something, I guess. Not full as an effort, informally. Uh, Half-ass, I guess. It's a counterpart to hard-ass in yesterday's puzzle. You cracked me up. Maybe it is ha ha ha. Straightforward as that. And run blank of, come into contact with, run afoul of. And opposite of I love it is not... No, why don't I see this? Coal or gas, each of those is a fuel. And because this is an or answer, it's saying coal or gas. It's only listing one of them. So you wouldn't want to say fuels or look for something that needs an S on the end because the or means we're only referring to one. Uh, to, oh, to boot could be also. Oh, did we ever look at this to boot? At that, right? So yes, you could say to boot to mean at that or also. Um, if you said, I mean, this... Eric Agard has constructed this crossword and dozens more to boot, for instance. That, that's what that usage is getting at there. Anyway, Fruit of the Loom competitor would be Haynes. And opposite of I love it, I'm not a fan. And then the A in Wasp is uh, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. And there we go. There is the puzzle. So what was the theme? <laughs> um... What am I missing? Uh, oh, oh, I see. Oh, very clever. Wow, it was really hidden here. So we have two word answers in which the second word is the first word minus its first letter. So never ever is ever ever plus an N Bear's ears is ears ears, preceded by a B. Hover over is over over, beginning with an H. And thigh high is high high, uh, preceded by a T. So that's very clever. This is it's a it's a classic Monday theme, although very a very subtle one. I it, it really took me some time to notice it. And I so if you're wondering how I, if it seems strange to you that I that I spotted that, it's because it tends to be the case, with re especially with simple themes, especially with relatively straightforward themes that don't involve rebuses or circles in the puzzle or anything, like shaded cells, anything like that. It tends to be the case that in, in fairly uncomplicated themes, the answers are the longer, longer longish answers in the crosses. And they tend to be roughly spaced this way. If there are four of them, they'll be spaced about this way. If there are five, say, you might get one that spans the center. Um, but these tend to be where they are. And if, if there are several compound phrases in a puzzle, so several phrases that involve more than one word, those are often going to be the thematic answers as well. And so they were here. So we had never, ever, bear's ears, hover over, and thigh high. And um, yeah, very subtle, a very subtle theme. We certainly, on our on our um, spectrum of themes that either require thematic manipulation or can be simply solved using the clues. This is at the extreme end of the sort of theme that simply gets solved by solving the puzzle as normal, and you don't need to understand the theme at all in order to complete the puzzle or understand these answers. But we get that little extra extra thing. So our extra letters were what? N, B, H, T. Yeah, okay, I don't think that means anything. Just double checking in case. Anyway, there was our Monday puzzle by Eric Agard. Let me know how you fared with it. Good, good, uh, good solid Monday theme, I would say. Maybe slightly, a few slightly tricky answers for a Monday puzzle. Oh, let me know what you think. And now we'll discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle, as we do. 
So, uh, Rahul Shah corrects my pronunciation of the word that I pronounced Lassi, I think, um, L-A-S-S-I, which is the um, Indian yogurt-based drink. And Rahul says, Lassi would be better pronounced with an a uh sound, U-H sound. So, Lassi would be closer to correct. So, thank you for that. I will definitely keep that in mind. I've been pronouncing that wrong for decades, I suppose. Apologies. And... Uh, DSZ says, here's something you missed in the grid. 27 across, 2020 number one hit for Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion is WAP. Which, yes, so <laughs> won't elaborate on that any further in this video, but that's what the acronym is. And uh, speaking of, I don't know, did I not miss anything else? I thought maybe I did, but I don't have anything else marked down. Apologies if I missed a comment. Um, the only other thing I have here written down is that Mr... P.W. Miles says, did anyone say stir means prison? It's a Romani word quite well known in the UK. My mind says it's short for stirrupin, but the dictionaries don't say any of that, so I could be wrong. Uh, yes, so stir is short, well, is is a slang term for prison. And I think you're right that it der I don't, it is not itself a Romani term, but it derives from a Romani word, or at least it's thought to derive from stirrupin, prison, which itself is derived from starapin, which is to imprison. So um, essentially, I, I suppose in the eight, 19th century, I suppose, uh, um, London kind of criminal slang that overlapped a lot with the Romani language. And so various words were adopted. And that appears to be where this came from and, uh, and shortened to stir for prison. Anyway, uh, that's that for today's puzzle. Thank you to everybody who wrote in. Thanks for um, sticking around to the end of the video. And thank you for subscribing to the channel, if you've done so. And thank you, since I'm thanking people, thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. I appreciate that so much. All right. Well, that's that, I think, for today's puzzle. I'll be back tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. Should be another fairly approachable theme and grid. And I hope to see you then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.